What's up, YouTube family? All right, so I apologize for the bad audio right off the bat. Apparently, my computer is decided and no longer wants to work um, with its mic, or if I connect the microphone to it, it does not work. And I currently can't afford to buy another computer because college student struggles, you know how it is. So, I want to use my headphone um, microphone to be able to record video content and anything like that. I am Raleigh Officiers. I am currently a PVET student in Animal Science PVET. It's a PVET thing. Talking about. Okay. Okay. Like and subscribe. Help your girl out. Things you should never say to a feedback student. Alright, right off the bat, nobody wants a doctor that has gotten C's in college. This is actually one of my aunts that had told me this, talking about college, and um, we were at a family gathering, and it just kind of came up like about me and my grades, and I didn't mention that I got C in the class, but it was I talked about that I got A's and B's for that semester. However, I have gotten C's previously in before that semester that we were talking about. And then she made this comment out loud, definitely. <laughs> you know, I do know classmates, friends that have gotten all A's during their college career. But they currently are still struggling um, mentally. This is one of those fields that just takes a heavy toll on a person. I'm one of those that I'm talking about now. Yes, I have godly seeds. General chemistry definitely whipped my butt. I even have a D on my transcript because I took deep production, which is a senior level course. I took it the second semester of college and I'm still a freshman, I'm still learning, I mean um going to college for that college experience. Sorry about the best. And I just is not mentally there and ready to focus on the amount of intensity for some of these classes. It's hard. It's really, really hard, and people don't understand that, or they don't see it, or they don't go through it because they don't know. And even those that have brought a lot of age have talked about the struggle of maintaining age. That has really grinded my dreams. I need a better holder. So, as a vet parent, then you'll have somebody who's the holder, you know, holding the animal in certain holds that were taught. Um, our job is to make sure that the animal does not harm the person that's providing the vaccination. Our job is to hold this animal in a way that our job is to make sure that this animal has the least amount of stress possible. Here's free training. Sometimes you will need to grab another holder um, when you, like, it's a big job and it might be better to have two people holding, or it might just be better to add in three. Going to the doctor is always nerve wracking. And so, if this dog is nervous, it was a bigger dog, um, I was the only holder. And, you know, in the process of trying to set up for this hold, it did get to the point that this dog was just so ramped up that I needed to tell the other vet tech to back off because I was going to let go. And I had to do that a couple times. I had to change my hold. And it got to the point that this person told the other people around us to need a different holder. We need a better holder. In a way, I understand where she is coming from through this frustration. She just wants to get done through with the procedure. This is a problem. Every dog is different. We treat every dog differently. We try to clean about it. Things like that, and I am, I was able to hold this dog for like vaccinations and things like that. But I also felt like I was causing this dog more stress by trying to hold it for more than the three seconds. Um, 
we, we barely have done like maybe two different kinds of holds. Um, we'll try a different hold. We still haven't tried lateral recumbency and anything like that. There's other things we haven't tried yet. Slow down. Don't be nervous. Take our time with this dog. Let's make sure it's not overstressed so the next time it comes to the vet, it's not going to have too stress. Anyways. Oh, audio sucks so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Is why aren't you working in the clinic already? So I did not get the opportunity to work in the clinic until my senior year. I did not have years of experience prior to application, or um, I was also not certified. I talked about this in my um, where my money went wrong video. And not having experience and not having um, that certification, we always need volunteers. But getting a clinical job is so hard, and having that pressure on top of school, you know, trying to get perfect grades, basically. So, um, Everyone wants the opportunity to become a vet tech and get that experience, the clinical experience before they go to vet school because, hello, you got to take the step anyway. But the thing here is trying to get into a clinic is a whole different story. Are you done with school? Yes, sir. I will never be done with school. I see any medical field in a constant learning environment that you will never, ever, ever stop learning in. Medicine is always developing, it's always changing. Um, in a way, I'm never going to stop going to school as a veterinarian. And you actually have to continue your education as a veterinarian. You don't just become a veterinarian and never see school again. You have to continue your education in different ways, like conferences, webinars, um, credit, I don't know, I don't know enough information that far because I'm not there yet, but I know, I have been told before by other veterinarians, you do have to continue the education um, in different formats in order to be able to keep your license. And finally, so my dog or cat, or whatever you're going to ask me about, oh my god, it's so the messages on Messenger, the text messages from people I haven't talked to in a while, the people messaging me on Instagram, you know, people in high school that I never talked to. You. I think I have a couple of things words. I won't get in trouble. Sorry. But at the end of everything, I always tell them, you need to go to a veterinarian and you need to make sure whatever this is, you have to go confirm it with a veterinarian. Now, people ask me about vaccinations, like when should I go in, when should I take my puppy in for vaccinations, and what vaccinations do I need to make sure that my puppy gets? That's something that I can answer, but if you're messaging me about an emergency or things like that, like snake bites, I highly recommend going to a veterinarian. Don't ask me. First of all, I'm just, I'm just a student. I'm a previous student. Second of all, I'm a vet tech. And the biggest thing is that we're not allowed to diagnose anything. All of these emergencies or messages or anything, any questions about um, animals or even yourself. Oh, my God. Okay, veterinarians work with so many species and everything, but the one, that we, the one species we, don't, we do not work with is humans. Okay, we do not work with humans. So don't ask me questions about your human body. Please. I love helping people when I've done messages about how, um, what diet people's dogs should be on, and I can suggest certain diets, but I always talk about going to talk to a nutritionist about this, especially if the dog has allergies or anything like that. You know, I'm, my biggest thing right now is that it's okay to help people. I know you're probably out there and you're a vet tech or Peter student and you want to help people. Like, is if you say anything, please recognize that you should always refer people to an actual licensed veterinarian, to a veterinary clinic. If they're asking about a diet, um, you can talk about, an, uh, an, like, oh yeah, well, this is the brand of food that we use at the research lab I work at. So use this one, it's a good brand or whatever. 
Um, stuff like that, but you should always at the end of every conversation be like, but talk to a nutritionist, talk to a veterinarian, things like that, because sometimes people will not do this, and if something goes wrong, it will come back on you. So that's why I'm trying to warn you as another student who gets really excited about helping people, so please, please, do help people. But but you always need to throw out the card, talk to a veterinarian, talk to a nutritionist, talk to a beha animal behavior, animal behavioralist, do your own research, things like that. When you're done, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, I'm a name, come on. Please, please follow us on platform oh. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Come on, please work. Thanks for so many videos for me after this.